Greetings, folks. Today's a big day. The much anticipated Evader has arrived. The Evader is Dynamic Disc's newest Speed 7 disc. And it comes in at a Speed 7, Glide 4, Turn 0, and Fate of 2.5. Today I'm going to test these against um, Opto Explorers because it seems to be the closest thing that uh, it comes to. It's supposed to be a little bit more stable than the Explorer. I also have um, a pair of Lucid Felons to compare it to. So let's take it to the field and check it out. All right, here we go. The first throw ever with the new Evader. This is in the Lucid plastic, which is the more premium plastic. On these shots, um, these are my warm-up shots, really. Um, just trying to throw them flat, trying to throw all of them at exactly the same level. Um, you will see here that the Explorer does stretch out a little bit straighter, where those evaders were the first two throws, and they definitely faded a lot faster. Again, another Explorer, very consistent. And here is the nine speed Felon. Now this one is gonna uh, be faster and you can see that fade at the end, just really going to the left off that right hand backhand. And this is another Felon right here. And you can see the difference in the speed uh, from a seven to a nine, uh, also a little bit more fade but the evader threw very stable. Um, both evaders are right there. They ended up over to the left of the basket, as did the pink felon. Both explorers are right on the basket. Now here I'm trying to throw a straight shot, a line drive straight shot at that basket. It's about 280 feet away. First two shots are evaders. Um, you can see here, I did get it to straighten out for a while and it got excellent D as we'll see when we go up. This is an Explorer and you can see that it is less stable than the Evader. This is another Explorer. I get over on this one a little bit and give it a little bit more air um, and it does get some good distance. Here I'm throwing the Felon, uh, really trying to make it go straight by doing a flex shot, I suppose. Um, it's a very stable disc. There is a slight headwind coming from left to right uh, and, tour and, and, and headwind in that. Here's the layout. You have a Vader here, um, a felon, I believe, and then you have an explorer and evader deep over here to the left that actually got probably around 300 feet on that line drive shot. That evader there got the furthest. All right, here we're going to throw an Anheuser release and watch the disc fight out on a flex. I also did measure these shots, um, and the evader here on that turnover flex Annie shot got 333 feet which was pretty good the second one here fades out a little bit harder or I'm sorry this one is an absolute crush I got way over on it and got 347 feet out of it again I threw these and then I decided to measure it figuring that could be a element of distance now throwing the Explorer here with the Anheuser release and it's fighting its way out and that one was a pretty far shot for the Explorer, uh, 360 feet and this is another Explorer shot here. Now with the Explorer I'm really looking at shots like 280 to 320, wouldn't typically throw it over that uh, consistently but just to see what you can do on an Anheuser flex line uh, with these discs. Next two shots are going to be the Felons, which I'm going to really try to get over. Um, and I believe it's this one 
get a ton of distance out of it um, by getting it over 358. And it was odd because one out of every two landed right next to each other. These three longer shots were all next to each other to the right. And the shorter shots that faded out, like this one fades out, um, all ended up right next to each other. And that was the shortest of the bunch there at 315 feet with the nine-speed felon. All right, up next, we're going to uh, do some flick shots here. I'm going to say that we're throwing these around 240 to 260 feet. Um, felon known to be a good forehand disc. It can, it can take the torque. Um, and you can see the fade there and the speed. Here is an Explorer 7 speed. You can see you can get a little bit more distance out of it. Probably a little bit less dependable. Now the Felon is flat and both the Evader and the Explorer have a little bit more dome. Um, I think most people like the flatter disc. You see the Evader here is, it does take the torque and you can throw it on a decent uh, forehand shot. There you could see the fade as it was getting to the ground. Um, here I'm just throwing the Explorer and then the Evader just on a straight shot. The basket is in the edge of that woods there at about 330 feet. And I just wanted to throw it. And there is an ever so slight headwind of about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Um, showing that the disc can be stable. And here's the Evader. After throwing the Explorer, I decided to put a little bit more on the Evader. And the Evader got um, 15 to 20 feet further on both shots than the Explorer. Um, and I felt like after throwing the Explorer, I felt like the Evader was definitely going to hold the line. Now here you see where the basket is, is about 330 feet. And then you see that the Explorer probably got somewhere near 300. And then both evaders are on the edge of the line, um, probably putting uh, right about circle's edge. Here we're just going to throw a straight hyzer release on these. Um, and just trying to throw it, I'm going to say right around 300 feet at that basket, just to throw it this is the type of shot that i would probably throw it on um that and maybe with a little bit of headwind um has a very consistent fade um very uh dependable and then here we have explorers also very consistent disc and then here is the felon, and you can see it just uh, it pulls up with that. As the disc slows down, the felon, you know, fades hard to the left. So overall, in this one, I'm throwing um, hole 18 blue, which is going to be a 330 foot shot around this tree line. Again, just trying to throw a hyzer around it just trying to see what kind of d we can get and there is a slight headwind you can see that flag off in the distance very slight headwind the type of headwind that would probably turn over an understable disc after throwing both the evader and the explorer together i can say the evader is very similar um get similar distance um, and it just has a little bit more stability. I wouldn't say it's an overstable disc. I definitely would say it's a stable disc. But I also consider the Explorer a stable disc. Uh, here you can see where the discs landed right around 330 feet. And we're going to close here by looking at a couple pictures. Um, you'll see the rim. It is a 7-speed rim. Um, and it's a very nice disc an interesting disc it's going to be interesting to see if it knocks the explorer out of the bag 
it's it was definitely fun reviewing the evader and it's definitely worth a shot i hope you can get your hands on one um check out dynamicdiscs.com and we'll see you on the next one have a good one